Hello friends, today we are going to discuss an important test, indirect tensile strength test as well as tensile strength ratio test which is normally conducted on asphalt mixtures. There are two mixed properties which are determined by these tests, one tensile strength and tensile strain at failure. These are the properties which we determine through ITS, indirect tensile strength. When this ITS is determined, before and after conditioning of the sample, then it becomes tensile strength ratio and this is used to evaluate water susceptibility of mixtures. Now tensile strain at failure is useful for predicting cracking potential of the mix. This test is conducted on Marshall specimen at 25 degree centigrade at a deformation rate of 50.8 mm per minute or 2 inch per minute. And the test is performed by loading a cylindrical specimen with a single load which acts parallel to the vertical diameter plane like this. So you have an assembly here where this martial specimen is kept between two strips and the diameter of the, of the sample is facing you. We apply the load on the periphery of this sample and when you apply a compressive load this sample will split into two parts and the tensile stress will be created along the diameter and it will split into two parts and that is why it is called indirect tensile strength test. For conducting in indirect tensile strength test, prepare martial specimen at optimum binder content with a minimum height of 50 mm for 100 mm diameter and 75 mm for 150 mm diameter. Means the diameter and height ratio should be 1 is to 2. This test can also be conducted on field core sample and in that case it is recommended that minimum sample height should be 38 millimeter for a nominal diameter of 101.6 millimeter. Bring the specimen at test temperature by any one of the following methods. So after you prepare the set of Marshall specimen these specimen are brought at test temperature 25 degree centigrade by using any of these three procedures. Procedure 1 is that place the specimen in an air bath for a minimum of 4 hours and this bath will be kept at 25 degree centigrade. Or you can place the specimen in a heavy duty leak proof plastic bag and then place the specimen in a water bath for about 2 hours. And procedure C is that place the specimen in a water bath for a minimum of 30 minutes but not longer, longer than 120 minutes. So idea is to bring the entire specimen throughout the depth. The temperature of the specimen should be 25 degree centigrade. And after that, you test the specimen. For testing of a specimen, we place this Marshall specimen between two strips in a Marshall test apparatus and then we apply a load, vertical load along the diameter. And when this load is applied, this martial specimen will split into two parts along a diameter like this. And that is why it is called indirect tensile strength test. Now once you determine the load at failure of the specimen P, then ITS is calculated using this equation 2000 into P upon pi dt where P is the load at failure in Newton, D is the diameter of the specimen in millimeter and small t is the thickness of the specimen. The tensile strain at failure, epsilon t is calculated using this equation 0 0.52 into xt where xt is horizontal deformation across the specimen. So we, we put 2 LVDT along the diameter in horizontal direction and we measure this horizontal deformation at failure. Now this parameter tensile strain is extremely important parameter to evaluate fatigue properties or fatigue potential of the mix. Tensile strength ratio is a moisture susceptibility test and it is the percentage of average ITS of conditioned specimen to the average ITS of unconditioned specimen. That is it is the tensile strength value of conditioned specimen divided by tensile strength value of unconditioned specimen that is dry condition. So wet condition and dry condition into 100. And how it is conducted? Prepare 6 samples of the mixture required for making Marshall specimen 
allow the HMA to cool to room temperature for two hours. So Marshall specimens are not prepared, only mixture is prepared. Now cure this mix in an oven at 60 degrees centigrade for 16 hours. And after this curing, you place HMA in an oven at 135 degrees centigrade for two hours before compaction. Now you compact this mixture to a Marshall specimen and the compaction is done in such a manner that the air wires in the mixture is 7%. And that is an important consideration. And this is done, 7% air wires are achieved by trial and error method. You can change the number of blows on each face starting with let's say 20 blows and you can go on increasing the number of blows on each sample and then plot the number of blows versus air wires and then corresponding to 7% air wires you find out how many blows will be required. Divide the 6 samples into 2 subsets of 3. The average air wire content for each subset should be similar. And I told you the air wire should be 7%. One subset will be un unconditioned that is tested in a dry state at 25 degrees centigrade as we have done earlier and the other set will be conditioned testing in a saturated state. Now conditioning of a specimen is done like this. The specimens are placed in a vacuum container supported a minimum of 25 millimeter above the container bottom and this container is filled with portable water at room temperature so that the specimens have at least 25 millimeter of water above their surface. A vacuum of 13 to 67 kPa is applied for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. So this is how a vacuum saturation is done of ITS sample. This is the vacuum container. Here specimens are placed and then you apply a vacuum of about 40 kPa. The vacuum is removed and the specimen is left submerged in water for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. Now determine weight of the saturated surface dry specimen after partial vacuum saturation. So when you keep, when you apply the vacuum, the water will enter into the wires and that will be saturate the sample. Now determine the degree of saturation. Degree of saturation is determined by this equation 100 into B minus A upon VA where VA is PA into V upon 100. Now B is the weight of saturated and dry surface specimen after partial vacuum. A is dry weight of a specimen in the air and VA is the volume of air wires in centimeter cube. And this volume of air wires in centimeter cube is determined by this equation where PA is the air wires and V is the volume of the specimen. Now here this test has strict requirements for specimen saturation which cannot be more than 80%. If the saturation is more than 80%, when the temperature changes, the saturated water in a specimen generates the additional stress resulting in decrease of the split strength rather than water damage. This test is conducted to determine the temperature susceptibility and the susceptibility cannot be correctly estimated if saturation is more than 80%. Therefore, the full water rate should be strictly controlled. After that, each sample is wrapped with a plastic film and placed in a plastic bag containing 10 ml of water and it is sealed like this. The plastic bags are placed in a freezer at a temperature of minus 18 degrees centigrade for 16 to 24 hours and after that you remove these specimen from the freezer. Now place this sample in water bath at 60 degrees centigrade for 24 hours after removing the plastic film and plastic bag. So after you take out the sample from the freezer, remove the plastic film and plastic bag and put them in a water bath at 60 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. Now remove the specimen from the hot water bath and keep in another water bath at 25 degrees centigrade for 2 hours so that the temperature of the specimen is now at test temperature. Now you have two set of specimen, one which is conditioned, wetting and freezing and another is in dry condition that is unconditioned specimen which is tested immediately after making and keeping in uh, to, at 25 degrees centigrade for two hours. So the TSR or tensile strength ratio is the ratio of ITS of these two set of specimen. 
ITS of conditional specimen and ITS of unconditional specimen. And requirement of this TSR is specified in different IRC codes and more specifications for different types of mixes. So friend, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you understood the complicacy and important details of ITS and TSR.